Welcome to my budget deck channel, where I try to make decks as cheap and playable as possible. So if you're interested in this, then why not subscribe? Today I have had a look at uh, Make Knights again, because I've already done a Make Knight Crusadia deck profile, and I wanted to use Make Knights a bit more, so you get your uh, crafting materials worth out of this specific variant or spe uh, out of this specific archetype. And uh, what I came up with is a bit strange at first look, but let me assure you it's actually not as bad as it sounds. And it's not that expensive, plus there's two competent archetypes combined to one, so each individually uh, can be used for their own purposes, and together they can be used for something that is strangely competent. I wouldn't have thought that, but uh, I've actually had quite some fun on the casual ranked ladder. I want to say everything below platinum is a bit casual at this point. Um, but yeah, starting off with the price tag, you definitely need two Goki Rematch and you definitely need Linko Rebo or possibly Salaman Great Almirage. Um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of an iffy one. Sometimes uh, Linko Rebo is better, sometimes Almirage is better. Technically, if you only have one of the two, then play the one that you have. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but it could come up eventually. And a uh, triple Goki Rematch would be nice, but also it can be a bit bricky. Because if you don't start with the Goki combos, because as you see, you don't run that much. And you Gokis have this one problem that they can only sometimes start their plays. Uh, back in the days, you would lose like a lot of uh, way, kind of warrior extenders and stuff. There's Goki variants that you can still play to, up to this day. But um, certain things are just not as good with this specific variant. So I feel like uh, two rematch is actually fine. Sometimes in the grind, 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 grind game, you wish you had a third one, but uh, then you kind of would want to play like a bigger deck as well because you kind of wish you had most of these cards. Um, yeah, but price-wise, three ultra rares are fine. All the other ultra rares you see in here, you get for free in either one of the starter decks or in the solo campaign. So you can easily get those. Um, and for the super rares, you run uh, the full make Knight package. Only one of the Gookies is a super rare, uh, the ones that I include at least, and this card is actually worth the money, I would say. So definitely worth a craft, in my opinion. And you want to run one Make Knight of the Morning Star. You could obviously run more if you like, but one, I would say, is 100% needed in this specific variant. Starting off with the deck and explaining what the whole Link Rebo slash Almirage uh, thing is for. Uh, it is for stuff like Octostretch and Guts. We run these two because they are level one and they surge. So you can go into Link Rebo if you have a Make Knight in hand and one of them, normal summon this, go into Link Rebo, uh, add rematch to your hand, set remade, uh, rematch under the zone of uh, Link Rebo, special summon your Make Knight, go into Morningstar, hopefully you have a card in hand that you can discard and then you search uh, World Legacy Secret and then you have possibly two negates if you have Move Man um, in, the, in your graveyard or somewhere else, then you will have two negates with World Legacy Secret. And you can get this combo off with stuff like World Legacy's Memory, for example, by drawing into the Mech Knights. You run quite a high count of Mech Knights, obviously you could run a few more, but um, you would kind of hinder the deck a tiny bit because you do need some of the spell traps for the Mech Knight zone placement and whatnot, because this deck kind of wants to go first. It can go second, but you see there's certain cards in here. Uh, if you want to use more competent cards, stuff like Ash Blossom, for example, even uh, hand traps that hinder your opponent more during their turn, um, you can replace them uh, for stuff like Lost Wind, for example, because it's obviously not that good. It's a good grindy card and it can shut down lots of opponents' decks, but there's cards that do more against more types of decks. So uh, there's that. We run one Goki Ring Trainer as well, because this card can actually be quite neat because you can summon back your Goki Link monsters in your graveyard, which is uh, quite good for link climbing again. And you can search this card uh, very, 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 very easily. Sadly, this card does not have one of the effects that cannot be destroyed by battle. But if you can bring uh, Goki the Power Load Ogre back, this is a pop four, so insane. Um, bringing this back with uh, one search ring trainer can be quite nice. Next up, Goki Hitbat, one of the cards that start your Goki plays if you have enough in hand, which with this Goki count is not necessarily possible all the time. Uh, this is more a card you surge to extend a bit at one point if you go for the full Goki combo. If you uh, go for a, more of a Mech Knight combo, this card doesn't do all that much because you technically need one Goki uh, in your hand and one Goki on board and Hitbat, so this card actually works. So it's a bit problematic from time to time since Gokis do not have a Link 1 yet at least not on Master Duel. Uh, next up, we run one Triscoba. The effect can be quite nice to boost your attack uh, 
but other than that the can't special summon itself uh, it's just in here because usually you would play more of this but since we run uh, these ones they're usually the bad ones but um since we run them for specific purposes twist cobra didn't have a space in it in here anymore i just like to run it so i have one different goki name uh and one different card that can trigger the effect per turn and also the effect of uh Gaining attack isn't terrible. Sometimes it's actually helpful to get over stuff, so it's quite neat to be able to search one. If you feel like this card is a bit better than stuff like Blue Scorpio, you can swap that out and play a two to a Scorpio instead. But I feel like I kind of liked that ratio. Obviously, Triple Goki Suplex. This is a card uh, that starts your one card power, log uh, power load ogre combo. So this is very very good. You can also search them with Reinforcement of the Army besides Blue Scorpio. So that is fine. This card has some somewhat neat interaction with a word legacy secret if you draw into secret but only have a goki hand then you can bring riscorpio back with secret and then get the effect off if your opponent runs over riscorpio during their turn and get another surge off so that can be nice from time to time but obviously that's not the main use for it and that is the goki package plus the two uh, rematch no other spell traps because they're all kind of well situationally okay but not good enough to be included in this for the McKnight package one blue sky for um first of all for price reasons and second of all because this deck kind of wants to go first more and uh, this card is searchable by purple nightfall so it doesn't really matter all that much if you only run one sometimes you want to run two so you have another way of searching multiple cards but you run out of targets quite soon that's why we play one yellow star and one red moon because you have to search um the amount of cards that you can search with a blue sky technically you can search up to three so we want to make sure we have three different names because otherwise we couldn't use this effect because you have to search the exact amount of cards for this one this one is a spell trap pop this one is a monster pop uh which is quite nice indigo eclipse very nice card moves your zones which can be quite nice especially in combination with world legacy's secret talking about secret you could obviously run stuff like whispers and uh, key feel like both of the effects aren't really that great uh obviously stopping spell cards specifically can be very nice but <sighs> I feel like I didn't want to make space for this specific one, but if you feel like you want to play it because you like Make Knights and the way they play like this, you can obviously add them as well. One reinforcement of the army for search and your Gooky monsters, so you add one more Gooky card to your hand and possibly an Ash Blossom target. Uh, um, yeah, some people uh, are easily baited, but usually win these games anyway. Triple Forgotten Chalice, good going first, good going second, good card to set to your zones. World Legacy Memory, quite nice because the Goki combo is done at one point and then you can still uh, use your Mech Knight combo afterwards. So this card is uh, basically an extender, which is quite neat. Torrential Tribute, a very good card in the specific deck because first of all, Power Load Ogre is that, and that is the part of this card that's, well, not the, both effects are quite good. Um, the card is, if it's Link Summoned, is unaffected by other cards' effects, which uh, also obviously includes Strange Attribute, so you can blow up your opponent's board and then you still have a 2800 attack point monster on board, which is quite nice. Some of the uh, Mech Knights can also dodge this, and if you don't have a good start, then this card can buy you another turn, or in the grind game, nuke your opponent's board if they have a grindy deck, so you keep them down a tiny bit. Obviously, uh, these are cards that you can play around with if you uh, don't want to run these then that's fine, but they also trigger your Goki effects during your opponent's turn, which can be quite fun from time to time, because then you can search one Octo Stretch, and that reduces half the battle damage that you take. Not not even like Karibu-like, it's half. Terrible, but uh, it's fine. You can use it for all kinds of shenanigans. Also, this card works uh, quite funnily uh, against um, <laughs> effect damage, so if someone tries to pull some kind of weird OTK uh, on you, and you have Octo Stretch, then you can hopefully possibly stop this and uh, not get otk and then otk them if you're lucky next up lost wind it comes back stops your opponent's place it's quite neat against stuff like uh, dpe for example so i really like this card uh, you will be using a hell lot of this but obviously some hand traps are just genuinely better and one world legacy secret very good card to search off of uh Mech Knight of the Morning Star because uh, then you can start your combos and to play it to go into the Mech Knight of the Morning Star you already need one Mech Knight anyway so you will already have one in your graveyard so that would be fine for the extra deck one Link Rebo already explained why that is plus this card kind of um, if you have one Guki left over at the end of your Guki combo for some reason and you can go into Link Rebo first of all you can go into it um, as a quick effect during opponent's turn so you trigger octo stretch again to get another search um possibly if you've already triggered it and then summoned it back by stuff like rematch 
And also, this card protects your um, power load ogre at least once from being run over by battle, so that is not terrible for that usage as well. And uh, it kind of helps with zone placement sometimes as well. If you messed up with one of the gokis, then you can still tribute it, get Linker reward, and uh, place it to a zone that you'd rather have it in. You run one Clara Lushka, better go in second, uh, gets your gokis into the graveyard, and starts the surge. So it's it worked with your Mech Knight combos, but it's not uh, any in any sense a good card in general. Gookie Heal Ogre can come in handy actually um, for a few different reasons, but the effect isn't terrible and it's a link too, so you can go into this, then get the two searches of your Gookie monsters, then get rematch, get the other two back, go into power load, and so on. So I like running this card too, but you don't really have to if you don't want to. There's other Gookie uh, Link 2s that I think are super rare that you could run that probably are better i don't know this effect at least came out once so it's not completely terrible we have one mech knight of the morning star obviously the surge but also the battle destruction effect actually kept me in game uh, quite a few times so this card is not terrible puzzle mino as a <laughs> very very terrible card that you could run because it's very cheap um you can uh, level modulate if you want to fill this deck up with some uh, rank um eights for example this would not be too terrible and also you can uh, pop one of your opponent's cards, which is nice. It's not it's not bad. It's possible, so uh, I'd try to include it. At least it's a removal. Proglio, card that could also come up. You run quite a lot of high uh, link rating link monsters that you could uh, get back. And this deck is quite spammy, so it's not too hard to get this effect off. Uh, so, yeah. It's a bit annoying though because you have to have one card that point this card points to, so you technically have to have already have a Link Rebo on board or possibly like Yuki Heal Ogre to actually do it. But sometimes you can get Power Loot Ogre back and Special Summon to the zone that it points to and so on. Like they have ways of how this card works, especially in combination with Ring Trainer. It's not too hard to get the effect off, um, but yeah. It's not great, so if you have any other good cards, uh, then you run those, like the Nightmares, for example, very good card. Another card you could be running is Barricade Borg Blocker, because this card discards one card, and um, you don't even have to have one continuous uh, or spiritual spell in your grave to use this effect, if I'm not mistaken. So you actually, um, it's, it's quite nice, because then you can get another Goki into the graveyard if you only do the one Goki combo, search your rematch, but have another one in the hand that you can special summon out, then you can discard that Goki and uh, summon it back with rematch to go into like a generic link four so it's actually quite all right if you'd uh, want to use this card as well geonator transverse is a card that's very nice if your opponent doesn't care about their monster placements so uh, you can screw them over and steal one of their boss monsters to switch them out with one of your gookies get another search when you run it over um, so this card is quite funny from time to time deco talker you get for free and the starter link starter deck i think so uh, it's not terrible you can attribute a gookie to protect from targeting from time to time not terrible and gearsu a good card to spin one of your opponent's monsters to the graveyard which is also quite nice because it's non-targeting non-destruction removal if i'm not mistaken yeah it's one send one card from each player's field to the graveyard not bad but also not great it's also a free card, so yeah. Power Cold Talker, uh, very good go in second, negate one monster effect, and uh, double its battle, uh, double its attack points, so that's quite okay. One Link 3 Goki, the card's terrible, but I wanted to include it. Same goes for this one. Sometimes this can be handy, but usually it's not. But sometimes you run out of your um, Power Load Ogre and any other Link 4 that does stuff, so. Yeah, obviously replace it with good cards like Axis Code, Talker, Palooza, and even if you want to stick more to the Goki theme, uh, Giant Ogre is fine. A Topologic Bomber Dragon is good in this deck. There's so much stuff that you can actually play. Raster Liger, a very good card to get rid of your opponent's back row as well, because uh, that is a bit of a problem with your main deck cards. So this card is okay at that. Also, it somewhat facilitates an OTK. It's not as good as Axis Code Talker, but it's like a budget version of Axis Code. So it's fine. And Power Loot Ogre, unaffected by card effects uh, very scary sadly only 2800 attack unless you have another link monster then it can go up to quite a lot and uh, you contribute one goki link monster which as well counts it as, as itself and yes the whole it's it's not unaffected by its own effect uh, you could still attribute it anyway um so yes this card is uh, quite nice because you, if you're playing against a back row deck and you start going first and your opponent puts all the back row down yeah, at the start of your turn you just tribute this card nuke four back row of your opponent and then the most of the time scoop because yeah most back row decks don't recover from this unless they can negate it for some reason but the thing is 
unaffected by other card effects. So there's nothing even that they could chain to it. So it's quite nice against those specific decks. Other cards to mention, obviously, the uh, standard hand traps that are quite nice. Technically, you could play Gear Soup, but I feel like for this deck, it doesn't do as much as it would for other decks. Rank 8, if you want another finisher, you could go for the Numeron Dragon stuff, but also for some negate kind of shenanigans, if you like, because you have two level 8s with your Mech Knights, which aren't too hard to get out. Talking about Mech Knights, uh, this card is quite a nice include for stuff like Nagir, so or Deco Talker, for example, if you want, if you have it. You don't need it, but it has very neat uses, and it also works quite fine uh, with um, the Gokis, because you can send one of the card you control this card in this card's column, and uh, then send it to the graveyard, so you could trigger the Gookie effect, and also special summon one Mech Knight monster, and you're not linked into Mech Knights, uh, locked into Mech Knights for the rest of the turn, so this is quite neat. All the nightmares, obviously. Thunder Ogre isn't too bad to go into the link for if you have like a very, very gooky hand. Um, so not terrible as well. And uh, yeah, Called by the Grave. Blind Obliteration if you want to go for the whole destroy your opponent's board kind of thing. That's not too terrible as well. And uh, Link 4, Goki the Giant Ogre. is. I think it's worse than Power Lord Ogre, but some people like it. Can be nice. Um, it's unaffected by activated effects with, of monsters with less attack, so it's not quite as strong, but it has a bit more attack points. So from time to time, this card is quite neat. Hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you have a fun and good day.